Welcome back in our program, Islam in the Contemporary World. And today's topic is most important because we are discussing about Sufism and Mr. Naveed Agbotwala is telling us about evil powers and beliefs of non-Muslims in America or maybe in North America. Go on, please. So evil powers are something that American society, a, s a segment of American society accepts. Mm -hmm. uh, there are things such as haunted houses over there. Really? And uh, there are uh, claims of mysterious noises. Uh, so this is something that, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, if it's a reality, whether you call it a jinn or a ghost or a spirit, uh, the effects are there. And those effects can affect people and, as and, well. And we find references in Quran and hadith, the yeah. sayings of Holy Prophet Sallallahu because uh, there is a, a surah of jinn, chapter about jinn, and uh, there is so, uh, there are so many surahs. And Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned. Yeah. He mentioned Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and furthermore, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised to his companions, and there are so many examples from that era, even today, that uh, people they recite Quran. They recite uh, recommended du'as, the prayers, and they're healed. So while you say these things, it may be unbelievable for those who haven't gone through these experiences or those who haven't gone through Quran and Hadith. They may be thinking, no, it can't happen like this. But it is reality. So for that, do, do, you, do, do you suggest uh, that Sufism has some remedies? Sufism has some remedies for those in terms of going to a uh, Sufi uh, master or a sheikh and telling him your problems, someone you trust, and you can convey to him your problems, and he would advise you either by giving you a taweez, something which is a written dua, or uh, by giving you something to read. So uh, what is written in Taweez? The Taweez has, contains either words of the Quran or words from Sufi sheikhs, uh, which are uh, transmitted down from, from Quran. It is in the light of Sharia. That is correct. These yeah, are because uh, some people, they, they, they think that uh, Taweez is not a part of Sharia or it is not, it is not allowed in Islam. But and Sufism, while they, they practice like Taweez, giving Taweez to other needy people, no. So in Tavi's exclu exclusive, you're saying that it is uh, a pure writing of Quranic ayat, Quranic verses. That is correct. Okay. And so what is next? Um, and, a and after that, I mean, uh, the, the Sufi Sheikh would uh, give perhaps some treatment. As I mentioned, uh, holy water may be given or the Shu Sufi Sheikh may make dua for the person. Mm -hmm. And these things can protect uh, this affected person from evil powers. And uh, one other evil pow power I would mention is Nazar. Nazar is something that... What is Nazar? How, how do you say in English? Nazar is evil eye. Okay, evil eye? Yeah. Okay. And evil eye is something that people may think it's an old concept. It comes from India and Pakistan and it's uh, not a modern concept, but it, in fact, that's far from the truth. Uh, is, it, is it also mm, a valid concept in uh, North American culture? The fact that the term evil eye mm -hmm. exists means that, yes, it's a, it's a concept in I, I have American heard about a term of jinni, uh, jinn and jinni, and sure. also like ghost and uh, when people died, uh, there are some uh, shadows around you, some seen and unseen powers. Still, in uh, like uh, in American culture, they believe that these are uh, happenings or mis mishappening in the culture or in the community. There are people who believe that. Not everyone does. There yeah. Are, but yes, there is there is definitely people who believe in spirits, uh, haunting spirits, or. Uh, or these type of so while non-muslims when they come to you or some other um, institutions for relief and for 
recommendations or dua, you think uh, they are satisfied? I think they are satisfied because they have found a treatment or a form of cure which is something they could not find elsewhere. What I thought from your discussion that Islam is a practical religion while a needy person gets some relief from Islamic prayers or practically he observed or experienced that I, I got whatever I wanted, then he is more interesting to know Islam. Islam is a complete code of conduct, code of life and it gives you practical solution to your problems. So Dr. Chishti, how would you say, because your name reflects Chishti, uh, you belong to Sufi, Sufi Silsila or Sufi Chain or Sufi School of Thought. So how, how do you think that is, is it uh, a benefit to follow Sufism in your life? Basic thing is, the main, as I have said earlier, main circle is circle of Islam. Mm -hmm. If any Sufi or claim to be Sufi is not preaching the basics of Islam, he is not Sufi. He may be something else. You mean Sufi must follow Sharia? That is the first and the first mo foremost prerequisite to become Sufi. And all Sufis from uh, beginning to this era, what I noticed that they were ulama, they were scholars. They, they were, were they were well known scholars. Yeah. They were these scholars. They they have read each and every aspect of the society and the multicultural aspects of when they enter in any place. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, he was basically uh, a teacher of community. That's right. He used to deliver his lectures and people from different parts of the world, they used to come, they used to uh, receive knowledge and when they go to their particular culture or areas, they were ambassadors of Islam. Yeah. This was the best, the best way, best way of and it created tolerance, peace, love for all, and like there was nothing except love and brotherhood. But unfortunately, today's changes in community, changes in our society has given a bad name to Sufism. Well, if I am Chishti and I am a bad somewhere in a that chain. That means uh, uh, I have given my name a uh, hand in the hand of a saint and I have taken him as my bento, as my teacher, as my priest. So you mean like bath is uh, a responsibility to the follow? The word of bath means to sell yourself mm -hmm. spiritually mm. to your teacher. What for? To earn uh, education to earn humanity, to learn how to live respectfully in the society and how let others live respectfully in the society. So, bad means to be loyal to Islam, not to person. And this is a message of Sufism. We are going for a short break. We will come back and we will discuss the same topic. Please remain with us. <laughs> 